Welcome today to Heart of a Shepherd. The title of our devotional today, Jesus, a Friend of Sinners. And our scripture reading is Luke chapter 19. I do invite you to open your Bible with me to Luke chapter 19. Now, we are in the week leading up to the cross. And here we find in our study, Jesus and his disciples passing through Jericho and beginning the Lord's final journey to Jerusalem. I do invite you to open your Bible with me to Luke chapter 19. Now this chapter recorded Jesus passing through Jericho as he made his final journey to Jerusalem. Now Jericho, one of the oldest cities in the world, is located on an oasis in the desert about 10 miles northwest of the Dead Sea. It was in Jericho that a wealthy publican named Zacchaeus providentially encountered Jesus in verses 1 through 10. I've subtitled this devotional, An Unexpected Guest for Supper. Well, let's enter the scene that we find in Luke 19, where Zacchaeus, a a notorious sinner, comes face to face with the master. Now, in earlier devotions, we stated that the Jewish people's disdain for tax, uh, tax collectors, or that is, publicans, that because they collected taxes for Rome, they were considered traitors to Israel. Men like Zacchaeus were infamous for cheating the people, skimming monies from the taxes they collected. Now, publicans enriched themselves at the expense of their people and therefore were named among the worst of sinners. We read then in verse 5, And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw him, and he said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, come down, for today I must abide at thy house. <laughs> of all the homes in Jericho, the home of a publican was the last place the people would have pictured Jesus dining. And nevertheless, he knew the heart of Zacchaeus and was received into his house with rejoicing. Well, the people murmured among themselves in verse 7, and they were appalled that Jesus would be, quote, guest with a man that is a sinner. Zacchaeus, however, was humbled and moved to repentance by the Lord's love and compassion. His sorrow over his sins moved him to rise from the table and proclaim, and I quote again in verse 8, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Genuinely repentant for his sins, Zacchaeus desired to make restitution of all he had wrongfully taken. Well, a closing thought for this brief devotional. Seeing as Zacchaeus the fruit of sincere repentance, Jesus announced in verse 9 and 10, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man, which was, by the way, the favorite of the Messianic titles of Christ, the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Well, though a notorious sinner in the eyes of men, Zacchaeus placed his faith in Jesus Christ and was saved from the condemnation of his sin. By birth, he was a physical son of Abraham. By grace through faith, he was more than a son of Abraham. He became a child of God. Abraham and Zacchaeus were saved from the curse of sin because they believed God would place his righteousness on their account. And so it is for all sinners who come to God confessing their sins and trusting God's offer of salvation by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. We read in Romans 3, verse 23 and 24 then, these words, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. 
In Ephesians chapter 2, Paul wrote to the believers in Ephesus in verses 8 to 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. No wonder the uh, hymn writer wrote, Marvelous Grace of Jesus. Another one wrote, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And what is grace? It is that which is freely given to someone that cannot afford it, cannot buy it, and cannot merit it. And so it is with the salvation that God, through the very sacrifice of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, died for our sins. He is our Redeemer if we will choose to receive him and accept him as our Savior. God bless you. I pray that today's devotional and the story of Zacchaeus will be a reminder that all sinners are welcome to come to the Lord through the blood of Jesus Christ. God bless and bye-bye.